gonna be good, but so is this. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, making his long-awaited return to the Impact Zone, please welcome the new Impact World Champion, Christian Cage! The moment has once again become an instant classic! Christian Cage is back in the Impact Zone as the Impact World Champion, and all is right in the world. You can hear the Impact faithful right now showing love for the World Champion, Christian Cage. Don't you love the way that sounds? Sounds great, it feels great. Look at the smiles on the faces, and there's even a smile out of the champ himself. You know, it's not lost on him what tonight is all about, and it's also not lost on Christian Cage. What lies ahead? Indeed, welcome back, Christian. Absolutely fantastic moment. You guys are gonna make me blush. Listen, it's damn good to be back in the impact zone after nine long years. I mean, the nostalgia, it's, it's hitting me, it's hitting me like a brick wall. We got these guys over here giving the, throwing up the double C's like back in the day. And listen, it's not lost on me that I'm standing before you as the Impact World Champion. And even though I wrestle for AEW, it was an honor for me to take these titles from Kenny Omega yeah. and bring them back to the impact zone where they belong. You see, at one point in time in 2005, I walked out of the biggest wrestling company in the world. I took a chance on myself. An impact, they took a chance on me. They gave me the opportunity to step in this ring night in and night out and up my stock, up my value, and to compete in main events and for championships. And that's all I ever wanted. Like I said, this is surreal for me. Thank you. Appreciate that. Now, sitting here talking about my history with Impact Wrestling, it's got me thinking, this isn't really about my history anymore. And maybe it's time. I had some conversations with Scott Demore and the other Impact executives, and we all agreed. As much as this TNA championship means, Maybe it's time to set this aside, to respectfully retire this championship. Because this isn't about, about my history anymore. This isn't about the past. This is about the here and now. This is about the future. And this Impact World Championship 
represents that. For me, standing here right now is the champion. And for every one of those professional wrestlers in the back that are hoping to have this spot someday, it means a hell of a damn lot. So as of this moment going forward, the Impact World Championship will be recognized as the biggest prize in this company. The lineage of this TNA Championship will be ingrained in my soul forever and ingrained in the annals of this company forever. So it's now time I respectfully hand this off and say goodbye to the TNA Championship. Now, as the Impact Champion, I guess it's time to get down to a little bit of business. Yeah. And what exactly... Oh, you said the right word. Bad mood, Brian. Number one contender, Brian Myers. is Brian Myers, as Brian Myers was once Sam Beal. It's a very interesting dichotomy. Wow. Christian Cage back in the impact zone. How about it, huh? <laughs> Write that down, Sam. Yeah. This is this is great. This is feeling really nostalgic. Is is D-Ray 3000 coming out next? Or 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 perhaps Shark Boy's back there. Come on out, Shark Boy. Or maybe we can get all these idiots in the crowd a brown bag special. How about that? You remember that? Sam, that was before you were born. Write that down. <laughs> Look, Christian, this is lovely, and I got all the feels, and I'm glad you and all these people are having a wonderful time out here. But I don't live in the past, and I'm not here to talk about the past. I'm here to let you know that I'm the number one contender. And for one calendar year, I've been killing it here in Impact Wrestling. In this ring, with this microphone in my hand, backstage, on social media, hell, I'm even the best podcaster at Impact. And at Emergence, tomorrow night, that brand new shiny belt that you got around your waist belongs to the most professional wrestler. Well, I'm glad you finally climbed out of Matt Cardona's shadow and showed your face. Oh. Took you long enough. You got yourself a cool little arm pose. You got yourself a studded vest, huh? Oh, that's pretty cool. You got some, you got some pent up angst. You got the guy with notes. You teach him how to spell. He's got his funny sign. Wow, you got it all figured out, man. But here's the thing. Here's the thing about you, Brian, and I've always known this, you've always been chock full of talent and you've never understood how to realize it until now. You've always whined and complained about being pushed down and held back till you finally figured out how to do something about it. Congratulations. But there's a saying. And that saying is, you gotta learn how to lose before you learn how to win. And you may have won that battle royal, but you really haven't won anything yet. Now, you might be the most professional wrestler, but there's levels to this game, kid. And I am the best professional wrestler. Oh, yeah. Ready to get it on, looks like. Christian saw that coming, been around way too long. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh man, Emergence is going to be awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of tricks right there. Christian's been around a long time. He's seen them all. He's pulled them all. Brian Myers is going to pull that one off on Christian. You know, you can't argue with the things Christian was saying to Brian Myers. Christian knows what's ahead. Christian is ready. It's all well and good as to where we've been. But what is it that uh, Rakim said? It ain't where you're from, it's where you're at. Yeah, we're on our way to emergence.